What up players, it's Wallbots Tay up in this mud. Today I'm gonna to show you how to paint up an Astro Claus Marine in this color scheme. It's um, the color scheme that the Astro Claws had right before they seceded from the Empire and started the Bad Dab War. So it's a lot of silver with blue and gold details. And the Marines that I'm using, as you'll notice from the shoulder pad, are the ones that come in the Assault on Black Reach Marines. So if you buy that starter kit to get started in the game, then you can have a Marine that looks just like this. The only other thing that I used besides paints were some gravel, uh, sand, I mean, to, to, to make as gravel. So um, I also used a drill to drill out the, the barrel. And I think that is about it at this point. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to put together your marine, glue him to a base, and base him, which means just glue some sand or flock onto the base. And that is what I have here, step number one. You also want to make sure that you clean up all the mold lines, which are lines that, um, for, for you new painters, that kind of bisect the model and you want to use either a file or if you have a really steady hand um, your your modeling knife so there's still some some pieces of uh, flash and some mold lines that I have to take care of at this point you also want to drill in the hole of the bolter if you have a pin vise or a small hand drill and you want to use that and then what I did as my first step was I base coated the model now you can use either white or black spray primer I have a gray primer that I like to use because I, I think black um, it's great for the shadows, but uh, it's it's easier to miss some details. And with gray, it's easier for you to see where the light reflects off of the models, um, off of the model. And with white, it's good to bring out brighter colors. But since this model is going to be predominantly darker with the silvers and the blues, then I decided to go with the gray primer. Okay, so I am going to drill out the blade, and uh, in the next step, what we're going to do is let me show you the paints that we're going to be using. We have for the metallics, bolt gun metal and chainmail as our highlight and our wash we're going to use bad at black. Then we're also going to use chaos black for a couple of details like painting the rim of the base. Calpin brown, shining gold, burnished gold and I have two P3 paints that I'm using for the blue and you can get this in the Signar starter kit. Um, it's a great deal so Signar blue base and Signar blue highlight. I think if you don't have P3 paints in your area or access to them, then a good alternative would be Games Workshop's Regal Blue and um, Enchanted Blue. Then for the eye lenses, I use Dark Angels Green, Goblin Green, and Scorpion Green. And finally for the base work, Carried in Granite and Bleached Bone. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna paint all of the metal parts in our model, which is basically all of it. We're gonna paint with bolt gun metal and I'll show you what that looks like in the next step. Okay, hey everybody, so here um, we've got our bolt gun metal dry brushed um, figure and I just want to show you the brush that I'm using for these beginning stages. It's a Citadel medium dry brush and I actually got it as a gift from a really really good friend of mine on YouTube and that is, I just want to make sure I've got the screen name correct. Really helpful. Lasol 1889 um, gave me this whole bag of swag. I'm planning on doing an, a, a, a kind of unboxing video for all this stuff that Lasol 1889 sent me. But just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. This medium dry brush is awesome. And uh, thank you so much for, for sending it to me. So, um, I also forgot to mention one color. Camry Brown, which we're going to be using in just a little bit actually, but what we're going to do next is we're going to dry brush now some chainmail. Chainmail is another Citadel color metallic that is a little bit brighter than bolt gun metal and um, we want to do a little bit of a lighter dry brush and we only want to do it, we kind of want to build from the top going down so that it kind of picks up where the light naturally picks up the silver and reflects off of it, okay? Something that I'm doing also just for posterity is that I am timing how long it's going to take to paint this figure. So right now we're at an hour 50, or an hour, a minute 52 seconds, 0.9. So I'm, I'm going to continue painting and show you just how quick and um, simple this paint job is for those of you who like to paint up models fast. Okay, so again, that's chain mail and 
and um, we might as well do step three at the same time. Once the chainmail is dry, we're going to take our wash, Bad At Black, and we are going to do a light wash, um, sticking more to the recesses, not uh, trying not to cover any of the areas that are raised uh, where the light is catching, but doing most of like the shadows and the recesses, and um, trying to you know create some kind of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not transition, but um, the difference, just some kind of difference between where the lighter areas are and where the darker areas are. Okay, so that's chainmail and bad at black again, and we'll see you in the next step. All right, so here is our model now. It's got a little bit more of a shine thanks to the chain mail. And the recesses have a little bit of that dull, oily, uh, machine oil look, which, which I think is awesome. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the blue. Oh, and time right now is 224.8. So we're going to start with the dark Signar blue base. And we are going to be painting this into the uh, inner parts of the shoulder pads as well as the plate not the skull but the back plate in the center and also the bolter casing so the one that the Imperial Aquila is on okay so we're gonna be painting that on and then by the time you get to the bolter casing the shoulder pad should be dry, just don't use uh, really thick uh, amounts of paint. And then you can do a little bit of a really small um, amount of Signar Blue highlight, again hitting the areas where the light would naturally hit, and um, near the top. So it's not so much of a, uh, of a highlight as, as much as um, we're, we're emphasizing the darker tones in the lower areas. And um, if, there's, if, if the paint for the Signar base is still a little moist, then you get a little bit of a wet blending effect, which, which is pretty cool. So that's the blues again, the inner parts of the shoulder pads, the back plate, and the bolter casing. All right, so our model should be looking like this one to the left here. And at this point, we're at six minutes and 55 seconds. And that's just because I wanted to take a little bit more time to uh, make sure that I got the, 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 the blue colors kind of consistent. I also, um, something I forgot to mention was I also have decided to paint the wires coming into their legs uh, blue just to keep consistent. So um, that's another one you can paint blue. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint all the gold areas. We're going to start by basing and cal thin brown. And then we are going to paint shining gold. And then we are going to paint burnished gold. So these are the areas that you're going to be painting gold. The Imperial Aquila on the on the boat gun. The um, any any symbols on their knees uh, or, or on their legs. These um, these embossed symbols, which um, a lot a couple of the the Space Marines in the Assault on Black Reach have as well as the skull on the backpack and the two um, rims of the vents. So let me show you on this guy. So you can see the Imperial Aquila here and then the rims of the vents, the skull, and um, this is what it should look like too by the time the, ver the burnished gold is is on it. Also between the shining gold and the burnished gold you can do a really light bit of um, of bad at black just to uh, just to make the make the detail pop a little bit more and here I found one of the marines that has the leg symbol. Okay so there you go we also have some of the models have Imperial Aquilas on their helmets, or uh, not Aquilas, but um, these little mini wreaths. So I decided to paint those gold as well. Okay, skull on the, the bolt casing. So some of the weapons, as you can see, are different, but uh, mostly uh, the same thing. You just want to pick out the details that you like on the models, and you want to paint those gold. Um, not too much, though. The main, the main color, when you look at this model, is going to be silver, then the secondary color is going to be blue and the gold is really just to pick out fine uh, details that you want the, to catch the eye. Okay, so I'll see you when the gold is done. 
Okay, 12 minutes and 19 seconds. Next thing we're gonna do is, after the gold is all done up, we are going to paint the brown areas. So if your bolter has a strap, it's gonna be that, as well as pouches on the side of the Marine's body. It's gonna be painted brown. Now, um, I didn't get a chance to give you what my color scheme for the purity seals are gonna be because some purity seals are, uh, some of the models have purity seals and some don't. But if you wanna paint purity seals, the method that I use is Kemri Brown and Deneb Stone. And then actually, if I have it, I don't see it around, but um, some kind of white, either Skull White or um, Games Workshop Skull White or Oh, excuse the shaky cam for a second. Or P3 Paints uh, Maro White. <laughs> Maro Wind. Um, and um, that sh should be it for the purity seals. For the... Uh, sorry, for the wax, what, what I use is Mechrite Red, which is a foundation color, and then actually dark flesh over that to dull down the red, make it look a little bit older and not as um, not as bright. You can also use blood red if you want a nice bright red wax, um, but I tend to use dark flesh for my purity seals. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to paint the parchment and the brown areas, the pouches, bags, and the um, strap of the bolter. I'm going to paint those with Kemri Brown. Once that is dry, we're going to paint them, uh, we're going to give those areas a little bit of a wash with Bad Dad Black. Now, I'm not going to wash the purity seals. Instead with the purity seals, I'm going to paint Deneb Stone. I'm going to highlight the brown, Kemri Brown with Deneb Stone. And then finally with the white. So those are three steps for the purity seals. Kemri Brown, Deneb Stone, and then finally either Skull White or some other kind of white. So for me, I'm going to use Maro. Okay, and I'll show you what those look like. I might as well also paint the seal at the top, the wax seal. So Mechrite Red, and then I'm going to use Dark Flesh for mine, for the red seal at the top. And I'll show you what all those look like when we get back in the next step. All right, 18 minutes, six seconds now, and I decided to uh, paint the base in the last step, which is why it took a little bit longer than I anticipated. So I've got four colors. You're gonna base um, the the model with carrot and granite first, or if, if you wanna follow my my color scheme, then lightly dry brush Calton Brown, then when that's dry, Kemri Brown, then bleached bone. And I kinda did those in between the steps just to, um, because, you know, Bad at Black takes a while to dry. Um, Wanted to make sure the Kemri Brown was pretty dry before applying it, before applying the, the wash. So now as you can see, I've got a basing color on the bottom, and my um, purity seal is also painted up. So I'm going to write on freehand the purity seal with my Micro Arts pen, which is... Micron 005 Archival Ink. And um, that's because it has a really fine point on it, and um, it's you can also find a really fine point brush and freehand paint. But um, yeah, it's really up to you. The last step we're gonna do is really we're going to paint in the eye lens, and to do that you're gonna need dark angels green to start with, and you're gonna paint in the whole eye lens, and then you're gonna go in closer towards the nose with goblin green. There. And then you're going to uh, highlight the very, very tips um, where you kind of want the pupils to be looking with scorpion green. Okay, so um, if you also have any um, any gems, I think, or any baubles on, on your marines uh, specifically, let's see if we have, if I can find any. There, there are some other things that I painted green as well on my other Assault on Black Reach marines. Just have to find them. Yeah, like here on this on the sergeant guy, the little gem on his little pendant there. Then you can also paint those green as well. Okay, and when that's done, 
um, because we won't be really touching the base anymore, you're going to use Chaos Black and just paint the rim. So that um, the reason why I paint it black is so that the eye naturally goes up to look at the more colorful part of the model, rather than looking at the um, looking at the base so much. Okay, so I'm going to go do that. I'm going to paint the purity seal. And I'm going to paint the eye lens. Then we will wrap up. There you have it, players. Time is 20 minutes 13 seconds, and um, I think it would take less time per figure if you've actually got a squad of these to do up because you know some of the time I was spent waiting for the the Kemri brown to dry and for um, for the layer of blue to dry sufficiently so that I could paint um, the highlight colors so you know it might be um, easier and more time uh, a better management of the time to to paint like a squad of these, a combat squad of five guys, or maybe even a tax squad of ten because you know you get quick results really really fast because most of the model is silver. Um, after the first like bolt gun metal and chainmail silver you get an idea of what the model is going to be like and it really it really will motivate you to continue. Um, some people I've seen have painted their silver a little bit shinier so you could highlight with micro silver but I decided I kind of like the machine oil Kind of greasy look like that you see here in the legs and the bad at black um, really really does that really well especially here in the um, in the middle these uh, um, gosh what would you call those not the plate armor sections but the parts here at the back of the knees and in the elbows these these joint areas putting a little bit extra bad at black there will really uh, push those those details out make them look really greasy and and worn and um, I kind of like my guys looking like that, yeah? So, thanks for watching. I hope that uh, this has been a little bit helpful to you. I'm going to be adding transfers to all my guys. So, um, I, I, those aren't in yet for Forge World, but I'm going to be adding those. So, we'll save those for another video. But, I hope you enjoyed this War Boss tutorial on how to paint an Astro Claw. And, um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for uh, more awesome Astro Claws and other shenanigan content. 